Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and today we're taking a closer look at one of the biggest features of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, the S Pen. The S Pen isn't anything new, of course. In fact, it's the single piece that has truly set the Galaxy Note series apart from every other huge phone on the market for years now. Some have even tried to include styluses with their device, and we've seen even Apple try their hand at the stylus after swearing it off for years. But no one really does electronic pens as well as Samsung does. Starting off with the design, we can see it's a similar concept to the S Pen found on last year's Galaxy Note 5. However, it features one big design change that's extremely important to take note of. You can't reverse it in the phone. This was a design flaw in the Note 5 that's thankfully been corrected, but thankfully not because Samsung has removed the spring-loaded mechanism on the pen. That spring-loaded mechanism is easily one of the nicest additions Samsung has placed on the S Pen since the Note 2 put a rubber tip on the end. This ensures that it won't fall out of the phone by grazing something, and in fact it's such a tight fit that it takes some real effort sometimes to press it in the frame just to eject the pen. The pen itself is really an ideal length for its function and fits perfectly in my hand when writing. It's just short enough so that it doesn't get in the way, but just long enough so that it rests between my thumb and index finger. It's light and agile, weighing in at a bit less than a pencil, but doesn't quite feature the same construction as a pen or a pencil would. It's reasonably pliable and will absolutely break if you really want to, but in the years that I've carried the first three Galaxy Note phones as my personal device, I never broke one of these pens, and I really can't imagine that daily use will see one breaking either. An important difference between this and the Apple Pencil, for reference, is that even though there's circuitry inside the S Pen, it doesn't need to be charged. The magic is all in the Wacom digitizer behind the Note 7's glass, and in fact, Samsung has reintroduced a feature that was seemingly removed years ago, holding the button on the side of the S Pen to erase stuff. This feature was removed somewhere between the Note 2 and 3 and is thankfully here, giving users a super quick and easy way to erase mistakes they've made without having to switch tools in the taskbar on top or whatever. In fact, writing is better than ever with this year's S Pen, a trend that's pretty much been consistent between every Galaxy Note phone since 2011. Like previous generations, that tip is made out of a rubber material that's also rigid, but this time around, Samsung has been able to slim that tip down to a mere 0.7 millimeters, or about half the size of the one in the Note 5. This allows for more pinpoint precision writing and overall feels simply excellent. In fact, this feels a lot more like writing on paper than ever, an impressive feat given the fact that you're ultimately just writing on glass. Surprisingly too, those new curves on the edges of the Note 7 screens are also able to be written on, However, not all apps support this feature, or at least maybe some apps, like Samsung Notes for instance, seem to actually actively block it from happening. Upon pulling the S Pen out of the phone shell, you'll be greeted with the AirView feature, which provides up to six quick shortcuts for launching apps or creating content. These apps range from the usual note-taking type apps to some familiar tools and even of course some new ones too. Users who can't quite read the screen can use the Magnify feature to zoom around the screen up to 300% magnification, and there's even a really cool new translate feature that lets you hover over words to translate them into one of dozens of different languages. There's also another feature called Glance that allows you to effectively minimize an app and then pull it up just temporarily by hovering your pen over the app, scrolling through it, and then as you bring it away, it'll minimize again so you can use the other app in the foreground. One of the biggest changes you're actually going to see software-wise is that Samsung has actually now combined a few of its popular apps into one new app called Samsung Notes. Instead of having separate places for art, notes, and other kinds of things, Samsung Notes now provides one place to find all your stuff. These can be categorized, named, and they're all searchable too, so even if you've got hundreds or maybe even thousands of notes, you'd be able to find them pretty easily with this handy search feature. An interesting part of Samsung Notes goes hand in hand with the new always on screen feature first found in this year's Galaxy S7. If you pull the S Pen out of its sheath while the always on screen is enabled, you'll be able to actually write on the screen without having to even turn the phone on. This makes for the absolute fastest note taking yet on a Galaxy Note device. And you can even pin these to the always on screen by clicking that little pin icon up top. It's a little confusing at first how to do this, but it's nonetheless a phenomenal feature once you figure it out. Samsung's partnership with Microsoft really shines in the S Pen functionality as well, as OneNote is easily one of the best note taking devices ever conceived on a mobile device. With this new functionality, you'll now be able to write anywhere on any existing OneNote, or of course any new one that you create, and you can take documents made on other devices like your computer from that Microsoft OneDrive and write all over them too if you'd like. This is some great third-party support, but of course Samsung doesn't just lock it down to software partners. There are plenty of other S Pen-only apps in the Play Store 
and the Galaxy App Store as well, as you might likely know if you've had a Galaxy Note phone before. Artists will be happy to know that the new S Pen features 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is double the pressure sensitivity of previous generations. Painting with a thick or thin brush is as easy as just pressing a little bit harder or softer. You can now even use the S Pen's functionality underwater, thanks to the IP68 water and dust resistance. But of course, the uses for these are going to be niche to say the least. The best use I could find for this was using the phone while my fingers were wet, since the S Pen actually uses a completely separate digitizer than the one that detects the electrical impulses in our skin, and that of course usually gets messed up when water comes into contact. Palm rejection features on the phone are better than ever too, and make it incredibly easy to jot down notes and not have to worry about keeping your skin off the screen to keep from writing stuff or erasing stuff accidentally. And in fact, there were quite a few areas that can't be touched at all, like AirView for instance, which can only be activated via the S Pen's touch, not your fingers. If you don't want to touch the screen at all, the S Pen still utilizes some of the best hovering controls on the market, and you'll be able to find that many apps support the ability to scroll using the S Pen Hover too. There's of course that all-important mouse-like functionality that the S Pen has always enabled as well, which are going to come in handy in plenty of productivity scenarios, but my personal favorite are going to be those classic PC point-and-click adventure titles that have been so lovingly resurrected in the past couple of years. This is absolutely the best S Pen Samsung has ever come up with, and once again remains an incredibly compelling reason to get the Galaxy Note 7 over other phones on the market, as it continues to be a feature that you can only find on Galaxy Note phones. We hope you enjoyed that review and will subscribe to us for weekly content. Check us out on your favorite social network and don't forget to check out AndroidHeadline.com for 24-7 Android-based news coverage. Stay tuned for the rest of our Galaxy Note 7 features and reviews and keep a lookout for that full review coming soon. Thanks for watching and until next time.